Whatever is in this bag, more than 3,000, 3,000, is dangerously radioactive. 2.7 millisieur. Millisieur, not micro. So guys, the story behind this photo that you can see here is a lot of people thought that people come to Pripyat and they looted a lot. But that was a complete myth. What they actually did is they went in and threw them out the window to be buried. And as you can see in this photograph, everyone's belongings have just been launched out the window onto the ground, literally just to be buried. Oh, look at it. Buy some belongings from Pripyat town. Damn. You, uh, oh, actually... Maybe something was stolen by this man. I cannot, <laughs> I cannot uh, search his uh, pocket. No, 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 no. But in this, like, generally. Dude, you better not have anything. Can I see that <laughs> other picture? The other side. It looks like a, it looks like the dump. It looks like if you went to the dump and dropped your rubbish yeah, off. Yeah, the skip. Yes, yes. That is mental. Right, so walking around Pripyat today, guys, the one thing that I've noticed more than anything is the trees. Now obviously we're in the summer now, the trees have come alive, the leaves are all out, it is green. Guys, if you haven't checked out my first series, go over now and check it out. There'll be a, a pin somewhere in the top corner. Check it out and then you can see the difference between the winter time and the summer time. We come and all the trees were dead. And it had a more of an eerie feeling. Now it has more of like, I don't know. But it just shows you how nature just takes over absolutely everything. I've only been in Pripyat for like five minutes and I can already tell there is a lot more people here already than there was when we first come before the HBO series dropped. I mean already I can see two massive tour groups. Now that might be all we see in here but to see that already, that says to me a lot of people are coming over here just to see it since the HBO series. So, uh, don't know. So guys, if you can remember this from my last series, through that door is the theatre. Now, as there's so many people here, there is less chance of getting in there now without being caught. So we're not going inside just in case. So guys, we're now in the community centre and this is something that I didn't see last time I was here. A massive boxing ring. That is big, isn't it? That's bigger than a normal boxing ring, isn't it? I don't know if this is an oversized boxing ring or this is an official boxing ring, I'm not sure. But yeah, this is where they come and obviously have boxing matches. I mean, behind us, we've got like a gymnastic, we call them horses, didn't we, in the UK? Yeah, so you'd have gymnastics, boxing. This is quite a cool room though. Like the old round room. 360 degree view of outside. Okay. Another swimming pool. Okay, this is another thing that I didn't see on the first time I kind of prepped yet. So obviously you've got the main swimming pool. This is like the swimming pool inside the community centre. 
There's still water inside it. Is there like a leak in the roof or something? Do you want to go for a swim? Go on, Luke. Do, do one lap. But yeah, I didn't. I didn't know this was there. To be honest with you, I only thought there was the main swimming pool and the little one that was beside it. I didn't know there was one actually in the community centre as well. I could actually go for a swim now. Not in that, I wouldn't. But I could actually go for a swim. It's so humid today that I actually could. You look tiny next to it, mate. Now, apart from the view, guys, what we have below us is a, a sports hall. Now, you can see there's indoor football ready set up. One goal down there and another goal down there. And again, this is another part that I didn't see the first time that I come. So we are seeing stuff that I didn't see in the first series, which I'm surprised about. There must be loads that I haven't seen. So that hotel that I was showing you earlier on, I'm now going in. I'm going in on my own as well. Without so uh, the guide. Without the guides, so... Wish me luck, guys. Wish me luck. All right, stairs are right ahead. But I've got a funny feeling that while I'm on my own, Igor is going to hide behind me somewhere and jump out on me. I just got that feeling. <laughs> well, I'll make sure that he walks out. Right, he's gone, he's gone. Right, I'm on my own. Honestly, guys, such a great tour guide, Igor is shown us so much stuff that I didn't think that we'd see today. I think the highlight of the trip has definitely been going into reactor number five. So explorers, we have now made it at the top of the hotel. I'm absolutely out of breath. I really need to stop smoking. I really do. I need to get myself fit. When I was younger, I'd have bombed up those stairs like nothing. But as you can see, the view again, absolutely spectacular. You've got the reactor number four over there. We've got the apartment blocks over there, and if I walk over here... The main square. Nature always wins. And this tree is one example of it. Check it out, it is trying to eat the merry-go-round. So Igor, Igor has just gone off into one of the buildings. Now he says that he's going to get something which could be one of the most radioactive objects in Pripyat. This is polonium. Polonium. And you are Litvinenko today. Ah, okay. Can if you open it? If you can open it. My and by your mouth, like... <laughs> He's <laughs> trying to kill us. <laughs> this definitely shows that this should not be opened. Oh, it's coming. It's indeed uh, plutonium welded. It's uh, pluton plutonium welded. That tiny bit that's in that bag it's supposed to be, would you say, one of one of the most radioactive things that you've seen in, in Pripyat? Yes. Yeah? I remember, since this morning, fire. So that is the radio radiation that we've had in our body for the whole day, which is next to nothing. It's like five, uh, 0 0.55, uh, 0.005 millisieverts or 5 microsieverts, since this morning, it's nothing. So that's for the whole day that we've been out. Except all 100. Yep. Okay. Holy fuck. What's it saying? Holy fuck balls. Jesus. 18, 19, 20. And it's still going up as well. It'll be going up, uh, going up forever. It just won't stop now. Non-stop, 
because it's collecting this is total is that the total for the day did you say that that's going up yeah that's the total that's going up now oh shit so that so uh, usually in normal life we go we get we get in around uh, three from three to four a day so this is almost like 10 oh this is almost like 20 days worth isn't it mm -hmm. all in that one it's gonna got to hundreds in a minute very soon, like a uh, month, month dose for normal for normal people outside of the zone. Jesus, hundred and fifty, two hundred and eighty, seven hundred ninety. Mm -hmm. oh. No thousand. Mm -hmm. Eight. That's gone to one point zero three five. One thousand one hundred. Whatever is in this bag, two thousand, three thousand, is dangerously radioactive. Two point seven millisievert, millisievert, not micro, millisievert. Okay, cool. check. I check now. Let me go back. Take it away. I know. You see? Oh, it's got to <laughs> ninety nine. <laughs> what? I think that should go back in to never be reopened again. <laughs> So guys, this is the one place that I would expect to see like tourists, but not for one second did I think there would be this many people here. Again, the HBO series has made this place so much more popular. How many people actually knew, I, knew, I know people knew about Chernobyl before like the HBO disaster, but how many people would have actually come here before the this, this series was on Sky, before HBO released their series? How many people would have actually thought of coming over to visit Chernobyl? And just the fact that people have watched that, it has become like a tourist destination now. It really has. But yeah guys, I know I've shown you this all before, but I want to show you again and we've got the bumper cars over here. And like I said before, if you haven't watched the first series, there will be a link in the description. But yeah, here we are. We are at the bumper cars now. So guys, we're leaving at Pripyat now. We've left Pripyat and we're driving back to our hotel. We're just driving through the Red Forest. Now, as you can see, put your hands off. Wow. As we drive past the Red Forest, it's gone up to 19. <laughs> 62? 68. That's, that's you remember, surprising. You remember that little dot to see more, we had to almost touch it. Yeah, yeah, now yeah. It comes many meters away. Imagine how, how, how many little dots there are. Yeah, oh, God knows. Yeah. Guys, check this out. Oh, it's gone. Joking. Oh, there's another one. Look at this. Bloody pigs. Right explorers, we are back at our hotel. Now we are staying in Chernobyl. So we're staying in the Chernobyl Hotel. I'm gonna end today's explore here. It has been absolutely amazing. So yeah guys, I will see you tomorrow. And until next time, carry on exploring, you beautiful people. Peace.